guys welcome back to my channel today I just wanted to do a kind of follow-up video on um, my job as a home health care nurse I this video is long overdue but I'm just now having time to film and record things uh, I've been trying to work with my I have this Osmo right here that I've been trying to record with but it's not working out so I'm using my phone bear with me um, I worked the night shift last night and I'm working one tonight but um, I couldn't get much sleep um, after the morning and so I just decided to film a quick video you guys you're probably gonna see the kids pop in here um, if you guys aren't new to my channel you guys know they pop up in and out but anyway sorry that was like no intro but today I'm gonna talk about um, my job as a home health nurse so if you guys are interested then stay tuned all right so most of you know I am a home health care nurse pediatric and also I work in the primary care uh, pediatric clinic offices uh, I do my home health is full-time I work three 12 uh, hour shifts and then sometimes I and then I also do like a Sunday couple hours um, in the morning uh, for the family and then I work at the office two days two times a week and then you know it just depends um, on how the schedule is and if I need to pick up more shifts because of home health well, not let me just go into it. So, uh, what I like about home health is speak uh, is its flexibility. So, when I first um, entered the home health, I just let them know what hours I wanted to work, uh, night or day, um, what I felt comfortable with, and uh, then they were able to find and then how far I wanted to travel. So they'll ask you like um, where you live, and then they'll look for cases around your area, and then you know, of course, if it's too far for you, then you could tell them it's too far for you but um i think if you work like if it's far for you that i think they might also pay for um distance but i haven't had to deal with that because i'm not trying to travel too far i think the longest commute i've had is maybe 45 minutes to an hour uh, my one currently is about 20 25 minutes from me but yes initially after graduating from school i didn't want i, I mean i didn't home health was, was never something that, that was in my mind i think i kind of talked about this in my first video but um i really enjoy it now i just kind of like the less stress i guess um i hear lots of people who um and my friends who are in the hospital they say it's very stressful of course short staff and then it's just a lot of things that are going on in there um i mean i would like to have hospital experience just kind of have acute care experience but I'm not complaining with my job right now, so I like it. Um, do I see myself with home health forever? Probably not. Um, I do want to venture out, and, and you guys know I want to um, eventually become a nurse practitioner. So anyways, I'm going to ramble on in this video, and it's not going to make sense. So I'm going to go back to my original. I'm going to look at my computer right here and just answer some questions. I think it's easier when I have questions than me just rambling. But right now, I'm doing pediatric home health. There's, you know, hospice care. There's adult home health. Um, I'm just sticking to pediatric because that's that's my that's my heart right there. Um, and then you could do like full time, part time. You could just be a PRN nurse. There's always cases out there. Home health is something that's always going to be need, needed. Um, so you know you're always going to have a job if need be. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do answer some questions and I'll kind of go with pros and cons if I haven't answered them through there, but. Uh, do you get compensated for driving to patients' homes? So currently, I do not. Um, I think if you if you travel up, um, above a certain amount of miles or whatever, I think you you can get compensated. But I don't. I think it just goes in with your wage. Do you have to cook for the patients? So uh, the patients I've had so far have been pediatric, so they've uh, uh, babies. They've so they've only been on like breast milk. Um, I mean, they've been through G buttons. So. Um, Usually uh, they are starting solids. Usually parents have the solids pureed foods ready. So I haven't had to prepare anything for the patients, but um, I'm pretty sure if you had older patients, you will be preparing their stuff. I know some nurses actually will go with patients to their school um, during their school days. Uh, but if most most home health patients are needing are, need tw nurses 24 seven. So um, I'm sure you're gonna have to prepare their food if they're older because um, usually they're critical care so um, or you know they they need help with everything how long are you usually gone from the home to take care of the patient so my shifts I do 12 hour shifts I know there's lots um, typically I've seen it's usually the 77 77 shifts 
Um, some cases have different hours. Some parents only want certain hours. Some only need days, some only need nights. So just depending on your health, home health care company and what cases they have and what the clients need. What do you do? What do you do if you need to talk to the doctor about something? So there's always um, the doctor's information. As a nurse, you're going to always report um, vitals if it's out of the ordinary. Um, medication change, medication orders. You will call their um, whoever they're seeing their PCP, their specialists that are needed. There's always the case manager that um, you can call. Uh, so from your home agency. So there's always something, someone for you to call to report changes and whatnot. Um, is it a good starting career for new grads? So like I mentioned before, I didn't think about home health. My friend was the one who um, kind of let me in there. I mean, I I liked it, but it's not it's not a field where you're gonna get lots of hands, like lots of skills right away. You're not gonna do like IV stars. You're not gonna do a lot of things. But, uh, most home health care patients, it's like um, G button, G tubes, nasal, you know, NG tubes or trach and vent care. There's lots of trach and vent patients. Um, so that's about the skills you're gonna be working with. Um, but yes, so what is the annual, uh, sorry, let me just go back. So I would just, if, you're, if you've had a little bit of experience, then um, I think it's not bad. I, I like the flexibility, it's not as stressful. You only have one patient. So I think it's a good kind of like transitioning process, but I think it's all different for everyone. So just kind of scope it out, check it out with the in your area, see how it is. Um, but so far I liked it and I was a new grad, but I've, I've been in the medical field as a medical assistant. So sorry, I've, I'm like, I've been so nasally from being sick with the flu like a month ago. Uh, what is the annual salary for an RN working in PD home health? So you guys can look up this information everywhere, like in your local area. But um, as a home health nurse, I can tell you, you make a lot more than uh, as a starting out RN or like a new grad RN or a residency RN. Um, you can actually even look at those when you go to job search. It'll tell you how much um, a starting grad or a starting um, residency program nurse will make. So that information is everywhere. I can tell you it's a lot more. Uh, being a home health care nurse, you're getting paid a lot more starting off as an RN than as um, one in the hospital. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, PD Home Health Nurse spot on. I dreaded the hospital. She said she didn't like the hospital. Um, single mom, one of my colleagues there. Okay, the flexibility. She said she likes the flexibility. So, pros um, of the home health is it's flexible. You can just, you know, they work with your hours pretty much. You're telling them what hours you want to work, what days you want to work, um, what kind of cases uh, you feel comfortable with. I, I haven't felt comfortable with doing trach vent care patients yet. I just, I had one and I just didn't really feel comfortable with that yet. Um, so I just um, opted for a patient with just a lower acuity um, and then just a G button, just because I felt more, uh, I feel more comfortable with working with that type of patient. So um, how the process works is you just, you interview, you go orientation and then you guys, they'll um, give you a list of cases. You, yeah, you'll go through it. If you feel like one fits you, then um, you guys will set up an interview process. So the mom has to interview you with the parent and then you guys kind of both get to know each other and then you will tell your um, representative, yes, I think I want to take this case, but also the mom, the parents have to agree on you as well. I mean, this is a person taking care of their child, right? So if you guys both agree, then, you know, there, um, there will be a training period. This is how my home health um, agency works, but then there'll, there'll be a training day. You'll train with a nurse that's currently there or with the parent um, if they're just starting off with, but pretty much that's it. Um, another pro is just, and you can always pick up our uh, PRN shifts if needed. Um, and of course the pro is the pay. It pays much more than um, for me, for, from what my experience, um, it currently pays more than what I make in the office. And then from when I searched around for like re residency, it pays much more. Um, and then a con is, you know, home health is just one patient. So you're the only nurse there. So pretty much it can get, you know, it's just, kind of lonely, um, you're just there with your patients, um, it's just you, you you pretty much have to know everything, you're the one that has, you know, if something happens, you have to be there and 
critically think of what to do. So um, it's not like you can go, hey, charge nurse, or hey, another nurse, come here and help me, right? It's just gonna be you. So that's a little con if you guys aren't confident yet, that's kind of falls into with, is it a good for a new RN grad? Eh, you know. Um, but you know, you can only learn from experience. So um, another con is, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, just, you know, you don't have coworkers. And that's why I'm working at the office, just so I have that social aspect, working with coworkers, more interaction with other patients, and then just branding my other skills, you know, um, as that. Because at home health, you're just at the patient's home or at the going with them to doctor's visits and um, whatnot. But uh, let's see. I think that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm sorry if... Um, the video didn't have lots of context but i'm just trying to think and kind of ramble on and do a quick video for you guys i know it's been a while since i've been on here but uh yeah so i'm still with home health i eventually do i mean like i mentioned it's not something i'm gonna be doing for the rest of my life uh, but i did finish uh my bridge uh, rn to bsn so thank goodness i'm still at the primary care office maybe i'll do an update video about that um, oh, another uh, thing is with home health, you know, since they're critical care, you know, they're patients who need help if they end up being in the hospital or not, that's the, that's another con is you'll, you know, you're basically not working those days, so you're losing those hours, but there's always PRN shifts, as I mentioned, to pick up, but, you know, but yeah, so um, if you guys have any other questions, just comment down below. I know my videos can turn into rambles. I just get lost sometimes. But um, I'll do another updated video. There's more questions and um, whatnot. But yes, yeah, so so far so good. I really do enjoy my jobs so far. Um, it's just been working with my schedule, even though I've been working a lot. I'm trying to pick up lots of shifts. Um, just I it seems like I'm work. I work uh, like six days a week, pretty much. Uh, you know, when I first finished grad, uh, finished nursing or going through nursing school, I was like, oh man, you know, I'm just gonna do the three days, twelve hours um it'll be good right but i don't know i don't know why I'm, i mean i can just work the three days but i just you know i'm you know i can't just be a stay-at-home mom all the time it just drives me crazy you know so and i enjoy just having that work aspect and other interactions and you know i chose to be a nurse and i i love my job so um but yes yeah, so sorry random probably but yeah i hope you guys are all doing great i will try to post more videos it's just i don't have time you guys know I'm a mother to four and I wish I could be like the Instagram or YouTube moms who have like this perfect setup all the time, be able to film videos, take all those perfect pictures for you guys. But uh, you guys know that ain't the truth. I'm going to try to do more vlogs and real um, mother day in the lives and all that stuff. But once I kind of get going, I, I say this all the time, but yes. So hopefully I can produce and make more videos for you guys. Um... I don't expect it to look all pretty and fancy like YouTube these days because this mom don't have time. To see. Uh, but you know what, guys? I do want to start doing some. Like, I do really love eating and seafood. So um, I might do like little talk videos while eating because I see those mukbangs and the ASMR. So that's probably just a side thing. But anyways, just wanted to add that in there. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. I hope you guys are all doing well. And I'll see you guys in my next video.